stop freaking out. But then you're getting like contact high from those people you're selling all that. I like, <laughs> I just noticed how everybody who's um, bought some product from us, their eyes are completely all freaking dilated and stuff. And they're just like, you know, prancing around. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Basement. I'm your host, The Bird. Notice Falcon has been a very long time. It's been like a year since the last time we covered this. I thought the game was dead. And lo and behold, today, an update just suddenly dropped and I was like, oh, what's this about? Looked into it. There's new content now, boys. Uh, apparently, they've been working on the story mode, which is now complete. They're going to be adding the story levels, like, you know, update by update. But they have already added two levels today with story and with cutscenes as well. So if you guys do want to see that, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up and we'll definitely cover what's available now. And maybe if we finish quickly, we could jump into Sandbox for a bit. We'll see how it goes. I'll see how you guys um, feel about this first, but let's go into play. So you still kind of like Walter White once he's had his, um, you know, balding period where he shaves his head because of the chemo. However, Walter White was not a stoner gamer. So that's going to be different. He, he looks like Walter White, but he's not actually Walter White. You know, copyright issues. That night, Gunther got an idea. He'll make a legendary computer game and get rich. All he needed was money for developing it. He needed an investor. <laughs> Whereas Walter White was trying to just get money to save up for his family once he went away. And apparently his game got rejected. Give this dude the middle finger. Bad game. No good. But Gunther's game was very different from what investors like to invest in. Gunther woke up on the wet, wet pavement outside the entrance of the investment center. I wonder if this is like a story of the developer himself. <laughs> Try to bring it to a couple of publishers. Hey, I'm making this game about, um, you know, producing drugs and selling them. Yeah, I don't think we want to produce. I don't think we want to publish that game for you. So we just kicked out. Get on out of here, Walter White. Gunther was very upset and called his only friend his dealer, Kenny. Needed to buy some grass, a.k.a. Jesse. Kind of has a similar thing to it, Kenny, Jesse. You know where it's going. Mary Jane whispered in his ear, go into business with Kenny and earn enough money to make that game. Kenny agreed if Gunther could find a place for their lab. You are just completely faded out of your mind, bro. Damn, I guess we could set up in my old uncle's garage. And here we go, alright. I got I haven't played this in a very long time, so hopefully I still still got it, you know? Your people are going to old uncle's garage. <laughs> like we have like a homeless dude popping out of that garbage bin over there. Here it is, my old uncle's garage. Cool. I should give Kenny a call. Hey Kenny, come on over. I got something to show you. Okay, I'm on my way. Well, come on, what do you think? Huh, not bad. Nice place. So you're in? Hell yeah. Okay, then remember the first rule of this business is... There are no rules. And most importantly, don't die. What, are you writing that down in a notebook? Apparently I need to keep notes. It's very imperative for us not to die. Noted. The most important thing, um, Gunther must not die. The second most important thing, Kenny must not die. Okay, we're doing this. Once we got some goods, we're gonna need a sales room. We'll set things up in the sales room so we'll be able to sell our stuff. Remember, the sales room has to be located above ground. All right, so build it. If you build it, the drug addict shall come. So room shop, we're gonna start with the basics here, the green room. Eventually there's gonna be like more unlockables for other rooms. For now we're doing story modes. I guess it's gonna start us very nice and slow, which is fine. I need to kind of get my, my bearings back in this game. Not bad, that'll do. Now all we need is some goods, and we're in business. Let me show you how to make our some stuff. We'll use a grow box to make some goods, but it won't work without electricity. So first we need to put in a generator. All right, the old Jenny. Somewhere down below, I would say. Can I dig in through here? Not yet, okay. So I guess we'll put the Jenny like maybe here. Why not? Buy for 125. Cool, power's on. Now I can put in a grow box. Right, that's the only spot that we have available is here. There it is. This is going to be for production of the old Mary Jane. Then we got like other stuff. We got, I think we got like acid, crystal, and I forgot what the other stuff is. Um, employer required, right? Buy for 125. 
We're also gonna need a storage room. Damn, this place is a mess. You're gonna need to clear this place out. Throw out all this junk. Why throw it out? I bet we can make some money selling it. Not a bad idea. I'm not gonna say no to a little extra scratch. That's business. So what am I selling? Sell the junk in the area? Okay, so sell for this for 50? Yep. And... I guess we'll sell that too. Not bad. Finally got some room in here. That girl box is going to push out a lot of goods and we're going to need somewhere to put them, right? That's why we need a storage room. The closer to the storage room is to the grow box, the less we have to run back and forth. And the faster we're able to produce the goods. Okay, so I guess, um, since the grow box will be here, I, I still can't dig out. Well, I guess we'll have to put the storage room right here, so... We'll, um, produce, come upstairs, drop it, come back. I guess that's fine. Storage room, okay. Sweet, now we can make some stuff. Go over to the grow box and make a little green. See, I think Gunther would be like the last person to be producing drugs himself. Um, so move move over here, brother. And then Gunther down here to produce the old Mary Jane. I'm in love with Mary Jane. She's my main thing. Yeah, that's what happens when I try to sing with high voices. It just cracks completely. Um, so am I supposed to be selling now or just wait for the production to come in first? Well, it doesn't say to sell anything just at the moment. Maybe we just gotta wait it out. I mean, I could probably sell it now, too, though. Let's give it a try. Is that a little dog back there? Oh, they've added dogs? Oh, they've added pugs. I think that was a pug, too. It is a pug. Oh, I see him back there. I saw him momentarily. It, no, it's, I'm not sure if it's a pug. Small enough to be a pug, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not really considering the size of the humans here, too. It's really hard to tell. The aspect ratio on humans to dogs is a bit janky. Alright, so, no, we're fine. I think we had to sell it anyway, maybe. I'm getting a bit tired down here, so I think we'll probably have to learn about resting here pretty soon. Look at that guy over just drum <laughs> blaze out of his mind. Doo -doo -doo. Making stuff is hard work. You need to get tired and you're gonna slow down. To stay productive, you need to have a break room. Just throw a couch somewhere and make, um, then have a smoke break and get your strength back. Um, put in a couch so you can take a rest. Well, I guess the only spot we have is here. I mean, I was hoping to put it next to me, but apparently it's going to have to be up here. All right, brother. Up there you go. Cool. Now we got everything we need for doing business. I see you already figured out how to make sales. Jing, 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 keep it up. Sure, it's not too hard. Easy money. All right. Ready to start earning for real. How much do you need to start your project? Well, the more the better. Okay. Then let's fill our pockets till they bust. So, we're going up to a thousand. We also apparently have a checkpoint, too. Gunther, it looks like we're sold out. One of us needs to keep producing new product while the other one sells it. We need to work smart and keep things moving. We're all sold out. We got to cook up some more and keep selling. We're not sold out. There's, there's a package right there, bro. We got a second one coming up. Stop freaking out. I think you're getting, like, contact high from those people you're selling all that. I like... <laughs> I just noticed how everybody who's um, bought some product from us, their eyes are completely all freaking dilated and stuff, and they're just like, you know, prancing around. <laughs> I just noticed that there's actually a different sprite model from when they're normal to high. That's funny. This is going pretty good, huh? There's not even a word for it. Got my pockets jammed full of money. There's no place left to put it. Yeah, you can't just keep shoveling more bills into your pockets. Tell you what, we need a proper storage room to keep the cash. Okay. But where are we going to put it? There's no more room. Oh, yeah, you're right. This basement is pretty small. You need to expand it. Take a few more rooms. Finally. Alrighty. Dig it out. Dig out! So we got three digs to do. We're not going to go downstairs for this one, it doesn't seem. Eventually, it'll teach us about even going further down. Just like that, this basement's looking sweet. Now we need to build a money storage. It'll be a good place to stash another 3,000. Right, so each one of those is 3,000 things. So... Money storage is filled up. And build a room. And 3,000 per warehouse. Which obviously if other gangs get note of, they'll come over here and rob us. Um, and then we could also do the same for further places that we take over. But right now we're kind of going through like mostly tutorial based on the story mode it does seem. I kind of already know all this, but you know, for the fa for the premise of the story, we gotta deal with it. Wow, that's exactly what we needed. Now we got a place to store the money. I bet it'll be rolling in now. Wow. So that's why I've been such a bum all my life. All I needed was a warehouse full of money. Cool. I'm glad everything's working out. Oh, is that really the answer to life? 
All we all need really is a warehouse full of money. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yo, Kenny, you might want to hurry up, dude, because this guy might start getting froggy over here and want to throw down because he's not getting his drugs. Alrighty, let's see here. So we're going to basically max that one out. So we got the next one done. Kicking ass, Gunther. But you want to kick this bee into high gear? We could run two stores in the same, off the same grow box. Right, now we're producing faster than we can sell, manage to sell. We'll be killing it if we get another store. But who's going to work in it? There's only the two of us. Good point. We're going to need another stealer. Workers always need a place to throw their crap. We need to have a locker room. Okay, so this will tell us about I'm hiring people. We're going to hire people already, huh? It's fairly fast. So room shop. This will get us two more people to hire up. 125 drop in there. Excellent. Looks like this locker room is big enough for two employees. We'll have... We already have two. But if we upgrade this locker room, I bet we can hire a third employee. And upgrades too. Go for it. That does require more power though, so hopefully we're upkeeping with the Jenny. Just like that, now we can hire another dealer. It's easy to spot dealers, they usually wear purple hoodies. Okay, so I forgot how... Click the... Oh, that's right, we hired through here. Um, but let's hire him. That's it. So Emilio's here, huh? Yo, dealer, you hired. We're gonna sell some beautiful product together. Look, Hunter, different workers have different characteristics, judging by this guy's resume. He has a high endurance rating, which will definitely help him deal. But on the other hand, his health is pretty weak. He's not going to be able to a good fighter if it comes to that. There's one more important thing. You won't believe it, but workers are going to want wages. We need to pay them at the beginning of each day. And what if we don't pay them on time? Uh, then they'll probably quit in exactly the worst possible moment. It's better we don't get into that. Okay, now we need to make another sales room. But we don't have any more space up top for another sales room. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to set things up differently. Let's just sell the couch. Okay, so my idea was correct. And then we can pull the couch in the basement. Yeah. Oh, well, unfortunately. The homeboy's resting over here for now. Well, you know what? Let's just um, build a room down here. A sales room. No, no, no. I gotta, I guess we have to sell this first. Just like, I, okay, shut up. <laughs> I got it. Um, you want me to build a, but you're tired. Fine, fine. Sales room first. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't bay me the entire way. It's fine if you want to be funny and occasion and throw something for me, but... There we go. Support. Break room. Awesome! Now we have two sales room. Okay, now put the... I know. You, here. Alrighty, so... Next one. Put the new dealer in the second sales room and sell a few packs of green. So we do have that. Now my only concern right now is going to be the fact that, um... At some point, well, let's see, depending on how fast Gunther's producing, we might be able to keep, like, two stacks up there for my two salesmen every every point. The problem's gonna be, like, whenever he needs to get some rest, Gunther. That's when the slowdown in the bottom is gonna happen. So, I'm not sure if we're gonna also learn about the fighting here with this stage as well. Now, there's two ways that normally the fighting goes down when you get an invader from another gang. And there's also whenever your buyers get crazy from whatever drug they take. Sometimes they'll get really aggressive. Oh. Oh! I think we are gonna learn about the combat. Listen, Gunther. There's a drugstore nearby. And I heard there's only two guards there. What do you mean? The hell do you think I mean? Let's rob the place. I'm sure we'll be able to sell... We'll find something that we can sell. So we're going from, like, you know, produ producing marijuana and selling it to now... You know, vandalism... Not really vandalism, but theft. Breaking and entering, maybe even a little bit of battery once we get in there to beat up some dudes. Oh, I see what you're going. We were going with this. But I'm not much of a fighter, you know. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting either. But do you remember the most important thing? To hire the right person for the job. So what do you say? Well, I don't know. Sounds a little scary. Keep your panties dry, man. I've done this a thousand times. We have one employee, but he's not much of a fighter. First, let's fire him. Then we have a spot cleared up for the locker room. <laughs> It's like, sorry, boy. It's time for you to go. Valentin, fire. Oh, is there still... Oh, uh, but there's still a package there. Cool. I'm starting to feel like a real boss. Yeah, cool. Now we need to hire a decent fighter. Yeah, I know. I know how to do that. Okay. So, come over here. We have Morris. So, Morris here is going to be 6.9 damage. Uh, this is going to be... I think the red shirt is normally the, the high damage one, though. So, there he goes. That's it. This fighter would do nicely. What are you going to do, boss? You need to beat up the two guards at the drugstore. 
You think you can handle it? A uh, piece of cake. Just point me in the direction. Alrighty. So, um, how do we do this again? Forgot. Oh, right, right, right. right. Okay. Um, let me make sure that we're still good here, right? Okay, we have no packages up there, which is a problem. But there's nobody in line right now, which is fine. Okay, you guys are good? Yeah, okay. So, to attack, we have to come over here. And who are we sending? We're sending Morris, obviously. Who are the dudes in here? 20 damage one. Oh, yeah. He's in a rock boat to these guys. They're not even fighters. So, Morris. Off you go. Choose him to attack. And I always love the little animation, like when they're off to, like, you know, beat somebody up. They're in a the little truck and they're like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go kill. Kill. <laughs> oh, my God. Three hit knockout. Boom! Get out of here, boys! There you go. We've seen the drugstore. That fighter did great. I guess we're done with him now, though. Let's fire him, or we just stand around collecting his salary. And we better hire a dealer instead, or else we've got an unmanned sales room. Fire you, my man. Emilio! There you go, buddy. So, Emilio... Okay, we're ready to f sell at full speed, and we also seized the drugstore. Now we need to move all that green from the drugstore to our basement as quickly as possible, then the owners won't be able to say anything. To move the goods we need to transport, transport can be hired in the garage. Right. Which should be right there. Okay, so, um... Oh, homeboy's um, auto selling automatically. I think. Yes. Perfect. Uh, let's see. So now we gotta move a new vehicles available. So we have to buy the transport first. So we're gonna buy this guy. Uh, we'll get like bigger trucks eventually. First, we start off with the regular bike. You can only carry like one package at a time, though, which is very slow, but it is what it is. Just like that, now our delivery guy will distribute goods to our buildings with sales room. Right now, we have two buildings, and both of them have sales rooms. So, in this situation, the delivery guy will keep our good quality, our goods equally, equally stocked for both sales room. We need to sell the sales room at the drugstore. Then, the delivery guy will move all the product back to our garage. Okay. Right, so if that's over here, he's gonna start, like, you know, move back and forth, but if there's no sales room over here, he'll know that, hey, you know, we can't um, sell there, so all this packaging, move it over there. So that's done, and there he goes. Exactly! Now the delivery guy would take all the goods to our garage. Perfect. And there's plenty of packages right there to move back and forth, so that's cool. I still like how that hobo's over here just hanging out in that little, um, <laughs> trash can. He's never coming out. Just hanging out, though. Are you giving me the speed funk? There it is! I knew there was something missing. I was like, there used to be a speed function here, right? There we go. Okay. Now we're good, boys. I was like, there's something missing here. They can't just run in this real time the entire time through. But we're doing good here. Everything's pretty much selling. We're still producing. Dudes are resting with have to rest. And there's the last package right there. Perfect. Cool, we got all the goods from the drugstore. You see, Gunther? You don't even need to produce goods. I told you to keep your panties dry. Everything's under control. Now we need to sell all this green and you'll have plenty of money to start your project. Alright. Well, this, is this going to be the end of the first level then, I wonder? Because I really don't think it's going to stop right there. Oh, Kenny, look. Someone is going to the drugstore. What if it's the owner? Relax, don't lose your cool. We already got all the goods. Now we can just sit back and watch. You say that, but I somehow don't believe you. Oh, that guy doesn't look... <laughs> Miguel. I don't know why, but this guy has like a bit of a Tuco Salamanca thing to him. Where the hell is all my green? There's nothing here. I've been robbed. Goddamn MFers. If I find out who did this, I'm going to kill him. Well, um, Miguel, I don't think you should be saying that word, Miguel. I don't think you, you're, you're allowed to say that word, bro. I'm just saying. Damn, Kenny, who is that? Him? Uh, he's the leader of the local Green Lizard Gang? His name's Miguel. Gangs? Damn, Kenny. Did we just rob the Mafia? Oh, don't sweat it. I told you, I've done this a thousand times. Now let's go buy some potato chips. <laughs> oh, this might not be good, boys. Yo, that guy's over there rolling up. I know a drive-by when I see a drive-by, and that boy's over there rolling up very slowly. Unknown persons robbed a local pharmacy. The local people, especially the elderly, suffered from a shortage of medication. Damn, man, these are some good chips. Wow, 
Well, <laughs> level one is complete. I'm liking where the story is going. All right, cool. So I'm going to wrap it up here for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to see a bit more, we can come back next episode and do the second level of the story mode. And then, unfortunately, that'll be it, which is going to keep me a little bit like, you know, I'm, I'm already really digging it. So now having to wait for the next one, hopefully the update for the next one isn't going to be too long this time. But um, we'll check out the next episode if you want to see that. So let me know in the comments if you do. And by leaving a thumbs up in the video, I will catch you next time.